In this video, we are going to continue with integration exam style questions. You will find this on page 358 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at this example. The diagram shows part of the curve intersects the y axis at d okay show that the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point p is this okay now if you come to tangent first always remember i have to differentiate so i have to take that formula and i have to differentiate and again i'm using the what i'm using the chain rule can you still remember I differentiate the outside, that's what I did, and I multiply by differentiating the inside. And there is my derivative function. Now, at that point, that tangent, do you see there is the tangent? I substitute that point in, 4, into the derived it function. So if I substitute, I get 3 over 8. Okay, that is the gradient of the tangent. So if this is the gradient at that point, I use this formula, I just substitute, so this will be x1, this will be y1, I substitute it in and I get exactly that tangent, equation of the tangent. Okay, I'm going to go to the next page. Find the area of the shaded region. Now before I go to the next page, remember it's a straight line, do you see the tangent and the curve, and which one is the exterior? The tangent, the straight line, is the exterior. And the curve is the what? Is the interior. Okay, so basically, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to find that area, not volume, area. So basically, it's between, can I just go back? It's between 4, do you see, and 0. And... It is the straight line minus the curve, the exterior minus the interior function. It's not square because it's not volume. Okay, so then I start and I'm just, so the best is first to simplify this, if you can. Now in this case, I don't think it's going to help due to the square root. So just get it ready for integration. And then integrate and then take the point 4, substitute, take the point 0, substitute, and then, it, and can you see what happens here? Do you see that it's not zero? So don't always assume that if you substitute zero, the whole thing will become zero. So there, you see, due to the root and that the zero was on top and the nine was there, it was giving me a fraction. And then I subtract and I got the answer. Okay, let's just go back. Okay, and then the region enclosed by the curve, the x-axis and the line x equals 4 rotated through about the x-axis. Find in terms of pi the volume of the solid form. So now it's just volume. Okay, so all that I do, it's between 4 and... Okay, can I just, can I just go back? They say the region enclosed by the curve, not, not the shaded region. They, they actually want... Can I... I want to make this a bit better. Okay. Okay, so it's the region enclosed by the curve. Do you see? So it's this. It's nothing to do with the shaded. The x-axis and the lines x and there is the 4. Okay. Uh, volume of the shaded. So let's just go. And that's why I only use the curve between 4 and 0. Don't forget pi, it's volume. Don't forget to square. Okay, and then I'm just doing this. I'm, and as soon as I um, get this, I'm going, to, um, I'm going to integrate. There I integrate. And then I substitute and I get 40 pi units to the power of 3. Okay, it's not so difficult. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, try now 41 and I want you just to do number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished.
Can I just move it up again? Okay, let's start. The diagram shows the point uh, 0 and 4, there's the point. And B, 2 and 1, there's the point. And the curve, there's the equation. The tangent to the curve, this is the tangent that uh, I can indicate it to you. There's the tangent. Oh, but that is the tangent. I can connect it. Okay, but it's like that. Okay. The tangent uh, to the curve at B cross the x-axis at C. The point D has coordinates 2 and 0. Okay. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at B and then show that the area of triangle BDC, BDC is 4 over 3. Okay, that's interesting. So let's start. Number 2. Is my pen correct? Okay. So what is my formula? Um, I'm just going to, it's y equals 8 over 3x plus 2. If I'm getting it ready to, because I'm looking for the tangent, so differentiate. So it's going to be mm, equals 8, put this in brackets and bring it up. So it's 8, 3x plus 2, and if I bring it up, it's going to be negative 1 and, okay, no, we're not into, I'm just getting it ready. Okay, now I'm going to differentiate. Remember, not integrate, differentiate. So dy by dx is equal to, again, the chain rule. Remember, chain rule. First, at the, the outside, differentiate. So negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Subtract 1 because you differentiate. You don't integrate. And then multiply by differentiating the inside with that differentiation of the inside. And that will just be 3. And that will give me a negative 24. And if I bring it down... 3 because of the negative. Okay, that is going to be the answer. Okay, now I'm going to say, uh, what is the point there? Do you see the point 2? So I can say, now it's like my yellow there. Oh, where is it? Mm -hmm. When x is equal to 2 dy by dx is equal to negative 24, 3, 2, plus 2, squared is equal to negative 24, and this is going to be 6, plus 2 is 8, and 8 squared is going to be a 60, 8 times 8 is 64, and if I simplify that, I'm going to get negative 3 over 8. Remember, that is the gradient at that point. Okay. So the equation of the tangent at, and what is that point? Uh, 2 and 1. Now don't forget, don't forget that this is x1, this is y1, and this is m. So if I use my formula, it's y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And that's going to give me y minus, what is y1, what is m? x minus, what is x1? x1 is going to be 2. And that's going to be y minus 1 equals negative 3 over 8x plus 6 over 2. Oh, that's 6 over 8. Okay, but if I simplify that, so therefore, y is equal to negative 3 over 8, and if I take that and I'm going to add another one, then I'm going to get, this is going to be 3 over 4, 
plus 1, so it's going to be plus 1 and 3 over 4. Okay, so what is the question? So this is, don't forget, that is the equation of the tangent. Let's read the question further. Um, and in show that the area of triangle BDC is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, so I must first get point C. So let's first get point C. At C. Uh, actually, I like to write this in yellow. Okay. At C. Y is equal to zero, because it's that line. So in the place of Y, I put a zero. So I'm going to get zero is equal to negative three. Oh, I forgot my X there. Let me see. Sometimes if you, re you reuse something, you, see, you realize it. Okay. I think I, um, that is correct, the X. <laughs> now my colors is mixed up. I actually just want to write this in red. Okay. Yeah, because I substitute in that red one. So I'm going to just go there to red. Let's see if I'm now correct. So 0 is equal to negative 3 over 8 x plus 1 and 3 quarters. Okay. And then if I simplify that, if I just take that over and I divide, so if I say um, 7 ABC or divide 3 ABC 8 equals, and it's 4 and 2 thirds. Okay, can I just move up? Okay, so therefore X is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. So point C and C, okay, let's just write it as a coordinate. C will be equal to, okay, where is it now? It's that 4 and 2 thirds and 0. Okay. Now, I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm looking for that area to show. So the area of triangle BDC is equal to half base times height. Now, now, if this is four and two thirds, and you subtract two, so then that base is going to be, I can even show it, but it's going to be two, okay, can you see? Two and two thirds. Or you can write, but it's that's four and two thirds, that minus the two, that's my base. And what is my height? If I look at that point, I can see my height is 1. And if I'm going to say, then I'm going to get a final answer of 2 and 1 third. Or uh, let's just see, um, I just half, and this is going to be 2 and a third times 1. Let me just see, because I'm checking it now. Uh, to IBC to IBC three times IBC two. Okay, it's one and a third. One and a third, or four over three units to the power of two. Okay, and that's how you do it. <laughs> Quite long. So show that the volume formed when the shaded region, oh, the shaded region, I'm going to start again doing it because this is now nothing with tangent, so I can clean. Okay, let's do the final part. I just have to make space. Okay, then it is not. Yeah, I think that equation is can stay there. Show that the volume of the solid form in the shaded region, so it's just this curved part, is rotated about the x axis is 8 pi. Okay, so let's start with it. This is now this is 2. 
So if I'm say volume, don't forget volume, always your pi, always I'm going to, it's going to be between 2 and 0. And it's going to be my curve, which I have here. That's why I left that part. Okay. And if I'm going to integrate, uh, don't forget your pi. Um, don't forget, okay, I'm, I'm using almost like the reverse of the chain rule. So it's going to be 8. Um, I'm just going to first do this. 3, x. Oh. oh, I forgot. Can I just go back? I wanted to say, oh, I go to Lynn. I forgot. And what did I forgot? I forgot to square. Okay. Sometimes I leave the mistakes so that, so, because I think you also make the mistakes. So don't forget pi. Don't forget to square. Okay. Now I can start. Um, now, I think then, if I'm doing that, I'm first going to simplify it a bit further. And then before I integrate. And 2, 0. And if I square, this is going to be 64. And if I square, this bracket is going to be 3x plus 2. And that is going to be negative 2. And it's still integrating 2x. Okay. Now I can continue. Don't forget pi. Okay, now I can do the reverse of almost the chain rule. That a x plus b to the power n, that's the rule I'm doing. So it's going to be 64 over 1. I multiply with the value in front of x, so it's going to be 1 over 3. And then it's go. oh, let's just make it a bit higher. And then it's 3x plus 2. And if I add 1, negative 1, and I divide by negative 1, and it's going to be 2 and 0. And that's going to be pi. Uh, this is going to be a negative. Can you see there? Um, the negative is going to stay there. And then it's going to be, let's leave the 64 over 3. Um, I can even bring it down. Sometimes it's easier with the substitution. Okay, and it's 2 and 0. And now I'm going to substitute. So it's negative 64 over 3, 3, and in the place I put a 2 plus 2. Okay, um, minus, don't forget your bracket. Negative uh, 64 over 3. And then it's going to be 3, 0, plus 2, close the bracket. And that is going to give me pi. Now I'm just going to simplify all of that. Okay, so if I say 64, so it's 64, I'm going to ABC bracket. And this is going to be 6, can you see? Plus 2 is 8. Times 3 is 24. And that is going to be negative 2 and 2 thirds. Okay. Let's just rewrite that. 2 and 2 thirds minus, okay, keep it like this first. Uh, this is going to be also 64. And leave. And this is going to be 0 plus 2, so um, um, multiply 3 is 6, so 64. And that's going to be negative 10 and 2 thirds. And that's going to give me pi, and this is going to become a positive, so it's negative 2 and 2 thirds plus 10 and 2 thirds. Okay? I'm going to move it up a little bit. And that is going to, and if I simplify that, I will get on the dot. What is it? 8. Oh, let's just get the pen correct. 8 pi. And that will be units to the power of 3 because I'm working with volume. And that's how you do it.